Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot. Today I'm here with another two for you book review. And I've got two tarot coloring books to show you. Now you all know that um, adult coloring books have become so popular in the last few years. Um, it's just coloring for relaxation. And if you like to do that and you like tarot as well, then maybe you want to relax while you're learning about the tarot and coloring it. So let's take a look at these two books. This first one is the tarot coloring book, Color Your Way to Unlock and Explore Your Magical Intuition. And it says on the back, um, let your intuition guide you. Connect with the insight and creativity of tarot and magic of tarot with tarot coloring book. The cards of the tarot deck are each beautiful works of art filled with symbolism and meaning. The coloring pages of this book contain some of the most iconic and important cards in major and minor arcana, like the lovers, the tower, and the hanging man. On the back of each page are intricate meditative patterns for you to color and enjoy. And also, um, which is kind of cool because if you want to frame and hang a picture, then uh, there won't be really anything on the back except a design, which is also cool. All right, so let's get back to this. Okay, um, it says it features over 120 coloring pages printed on quality paper to re prevent bleed through, which is good because then you can use markers. Features most features popular tarot card designs. Use your creativity to connect with your intuition and the beauty of tarot. So this is um, published by Chartwell Books. It was $10.99. Let's take a look. And some of these books you can find also. Um, let's see, one of these books. I think it was the other one that I actually found at, at Five Below for, I think, $5. So that's really good. But anyway, the publisher price on this one's $10.99. So we have an introduction. And then we start the coloring pages. And I don't know if you can see, there's crystals on that page. Here is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Page of Swords. I'm not sure what deck that's from. That's pretty cool. Can you see that? You know. And on each of the backs, there's different uh, designs. We have... Um, and then some of these are not actual cards. Some of them are just tarot-related artwork. So there's that one. This one is also a different tarot-related artwork. Moon phases. Here's the three of heart, the three of swords, rather. If I haven't told you before, that's my least favorite card in the whole deck. I'd rather get like the ten of swords than that one. All right, so here's the magician. Let's just look through a few others. The sun. And um, maybe you will recognize which decks these are from. I recognize some of them. Here's the lovers. And then here is a palm reading um, type hand. Hey, I have one like that. Look. Ha! There's your bonus. I got this one at Barnes & Noble. It is like really cool. And it was only like $14.99 if you want one of those. Love it. All right. So anyway, sorry. That was a that was a commercial interlude. <clears throat> okay, here's Wheel of Fortune, and I like that the um, design pages have different colors as well. And here is just here's a lady with fortune cards. There's a reader. There's strength. Here's a cool painting. Now it doesn't say it's the tower, and so on. So there's a lot of non-tarot but they're divination related uh pictures in here and as well as tarot cards the high priestess ooh mecca lecca high mecca high ni ho there's the devil okay this i don't know if that is a tarot card but it could be the magician not sure maybe it's just a drawing we have the Emperor, we have the Moon, and there's a Page of Cups with a horse. There's the Queen of Cups, and so on. I won't go through all of them, but you get the idea of this book. Now, I am not sure, whoa, that Knight of Swords, you got to take a look at that one. And they're pretty intricate, really. The Moon. So, again, that is, um, oh, that's pretty, look. I, maybe that's the tower before it got blasted. Ace of Swords. All right, there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of Cups. 
Okay. And, oh, that one just says Mystic. There you go. All right, so you get the point of this book. And it says here, it doesn't really say, um, well, let's give, okay, so this is published by Quarto Publishing Group in USA, published in 2022 by Quarto, published in 2021 by Chartwell Books, which is an imprint of Quarto. And then let's give some credit to some people here. So it's published by Win Wendy Friedman, Editorial Director Bettina Cochran, Creative Director Pauline Molinari, Designer Sue Boylan, Editor Meredith Mennett, and um, All Stock Design and uh, Design Elements uh, are copyrighted by Shutterstock. Okay, so there's no particular artist. These are um, pages, pictures from Shutterstock. All right, and um, anyway, so that is the, this tarot coloring book. That's one. And the second one is this, tarot coloring. This is illustrated by Alexis E. Thompson. So this is one illustrator, which is kind of cool. So all of the illustrations will look very uh, like similar. You can tell they were done by the same person. All right, so this is says, discover the allure of the mystical art of the tarot as you embark on this coloring journey. Cards from the major and minor arcana have been reimagined with a clever contemporary twist, creating a tarot deck unlike any other. Rich with symbolism and designed to convey the convey the true meaning of each card these beautifully illustrated pages are waiting to be brought to life with color this is by thunder bay press and i don't see a date here but i'm sure there will be one um inside and then this is us 11.99 canada 15.99 and like i said one of these books i did find it half price uh, not half price, five below for five dollars. So take a look there. They actually have a lot of tarot and divination books, surprisingly. Okay, illustrated by Alexis E. Thompson again, Thunder Bay Press, San Diego, California, and 2021 is the publication year. So 2021. All right, so then it talks about tarot decks, um, the tarot deck, how are tarot cards used. And then we go the fool. Okay, now what I like about this coloring book is this. You actually can study the tarot with this one. Because it has this beautiful um, artwork by Alexis Thompson. Then it has a description of the card. It has an upright meaning and it has a reversed meaning. Okay, cool. So let's take the fool for example. It says, Barnacle goslings, known for the death-defying cliff-edge leaps they take soon after birth, act as a literal depiction of stepping into the unknown. The young geese, in their innocence, take this seemingly foolish action willingly and without fear, their purity of spirit reflected here by the rose icons in the border. The dogwood... Wait, roses. The, where are roses? Hmm. Let's, oh, here are the roses. I'm sorry. There's the rose right there. Okay. Then it says, um, the dogwood flowers are a symbol. Here, these are dogwoods, guys. I knew they weren't roses. The dogwood flowers are a symbol of the loyalty and protection offered by man's best friend who guards against fear of the unknown, while the mountains in the background represent the challenges that will be encountered in the future, yet unseen. So I'm looking for man's best friend here. I don't see him. Or her but I do see the sunshine in the mountains in the background huh all right well either way it's very beautiful okay in the upright meaning it says consider a step into the unknown as a step toward freedom and enlightening new experiences the universe has a plan and embracing it will open up a world of opportunity the reverse meaning is this. Everyone is liable to act foolishly on occasion, but dangerous consequences can be avoided by listening to intuition. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. So I think this is so cool because like, it really has a good, good upright and reverse meanings of the card. While you color, you can learn and study. I love it, love it. Here's the magician. The high priestess. The empress. These are gorgeous. And on each one, there's the title of the card and the number of the card. The Emperor. How cool is that? The Hierophant. 
Oh, I can't wait to start coloring in this book. The Lovers. I love birds, aren't they beautiful? Um, the Chariot. So let's see. It goes through um, Strength. Ooh. The Hermit. Oh, and the Hermit is a Hermit Crab. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Let's see if it actually has all 78 cards in here. Death. And Prince the Devil. Oh, remind me. The Devil. Oh, I have a goat story that you will not believe. How should I put that in the scary stories? Um, it, it's actually turned out not to be that scary, but it started out super scary for me. Alright, the star, the moon, the sun. These are just gorgeous. Judgment and the world. Ah, oh, love, love, love it. All right, and then we start with a suit of coins. Let me just quickly see if it goes through all the coins. Ace, queen, knight, page. Oh, okay. It doesn't have every. It doesn't have every card for every suit. So it looks like it has this suit of coins, and then it has the ace of coins, the king, the queen, the knight, and the page. So let's see if it has that for every suit. So we have wands, and then it just has a general um, a one for this, the whole suit. And then we have ace of wands. Yes, king. Oh, that's beautiful. Queen. Knight. And page. And then we got a swords. And then we have the ace. The king. The peacock. The Queen, the Knight, and the Page. And it is cut off at the bottom. I mean, I'm cutting it off at the bottom, but the titles are on the cards. You can see. Okay, and then we go Suit of Cups. There's Cups. There's the Ace. The King. The Queen. And the Knight and the page and and then that's it so do they have all so they have cups swords wands and pentacles yep they have got it all and then it has a little blurb on the history of tarot a little page back here all right so that is the second tarot coloring book and these are both great If you um, like it, if you like to color, you may want to pick up one of these. All right, friends, that was my review of Two For You Tarot Coloring Books. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so. It's free for you. It helps me out a lot. I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.